Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric again with Holster Reviewer. Today we are looking at another hybrid style holster. Um, actually two of them uh, from our friends over at Alien Gear Holsters. Um, they've sent us their Cloak Tuck and they're brand new. This I don't even think anybody else has this yet. This is the Cloak Tuck 2.0 now available on their website. Um, I'm going to go over both of these. Um, I, these are two completely different kind of hybrid holsters. Um, this one's your standard leather with a uh, Kydex shell. This one's a little bit different. I'll get into that here in just a minute. Um, first things first, did want to show everybody that all of our weapons have been safety checked. As you can see, nothing in the barrel, nothing down the slide, nothing in the magazine. So with that being said, back to the holsters here. Cloak Tuck 1.0, or just the Cloak Tuck as they call it here, is your standard leather with Kydex shell with clips. Um, great stuff, actually really nice leather on this one. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a close up of both of these here in just a moment, but as far as a hybrid holster, um, their big selling point is they're 30 bucks. This one's 30, this one's 35. And um, why this one's 35? It's the brand new one, it's got neoprene on the back. You wanna talk about comfortable. This is unbelievable when it comes to comfort. And at the same time, knee preem has its own benefits as well. Once again, I'll get to that in here in just a moment. So over there at Alien Gear Holsters, I was able to get a hold of this uh, for the general public. I still don't know how I pulled it off, but um, thank you to all the people over there at Alien Gear. You guys are doing a great job. So first things first, I do want to get a close-up shot of both of these and show you the benefits of them. And then I'll show you what the holster looks like on me and then I'll do a quick wrap up. So bear with me just a moment and I will get the camera out and go closer. All right guys, did wanna show you what the holsters did look like close up. This is their original cloak tuck. Um, I did get this one for my P2000SK. That is the shell on it here. Um, one cool thing about these holsters is you can change the shells out on them. Um, they did send me a shell here for my P30 um, which is working really well on the Cloak Tuck 2.0 here. But um, as far as interchangeable parts, all of these are interchangeable. Everything from the clips all the way down to the shells. If I want to put the P30 on here, I can. If I want to put the P2000SK on the Cloak Tuck 2.0, I can do that. Once again, 30 bucks for this thing. You can't go wrong. Um, if you're ever you know, looking at doing a hybrid style holster, um, and just don't want to fork over the cash right away, go for it. Do this. I mean, you're going to fall in love with it almost guaranteed. And for 30 bucks, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like either of these holsters or any of the products that they sell, send it back to them. They don't have any hard feelings. They won't ask any questions. They'll just take them back from you. Um, at the same time, um, the shells on them, if let's say you decided to get a new gun, I wanted to trade my P30 in for a Glock or whatever the case may be on that, they will actually change the shells out for free. All I have to do is pay the shipping and handling on that. So if I do get a new gun, I don't have to worry about going and buying a new holster. All I do is send back this shell, they send me another one, and it bolts right on there. Um, at the same time, uh, they do have what they call their triple ironclad guarantee. And basically what it means is if anything breaks on these um, throughout the life of the holster, they'll replace it for free. Um, that even includes the clips. So uh, great benefits all around for that. So um, like I said, 2.0 here is their brand new one made of neoprene um, right out of the box. It is broken in. It doesn't get much more broken in than that. Um, has a leather style coating on it here. I'm not quite sure if that's leather or not, but the back is um, neoprene style. Um, it keeps water away from you, sweat away from you, keeps it away from the gun most importantly. You don't have to worry about any damage to the gun itself. Um, everything on these is adjustable. Um, the cant, the ride, which as you guys know, I like a pretty aggressive cant there. I did switch this one out. I, I did put J-clips on it. They didn't send me a set of clips um, for both holsters here, um, which are completely interchangeable. I can, Like I said, I can adjust any of the parts on here. Here's your standard steel clips on this one. So um, let me put these on and let me show you what they both look like on the body here. Actually, I'll probably just do just this one because they're virtually the same thing, minus this one being the 2.0 and extremely comfortable. So let me put those on and let me show you guys what they're all about. All right, guys, did want to show you what the holster did look like while I did have it on. I'm actually currently wearing the Cloak Tuck 2.0, which is the neoprene-backed holster. 
Um, I've been wearing this for about a week now. Um, I've been I've had the the leather ones obviously, um, and I've, you can see I've changed the shells out on here. But um, I'm wearing the neoprene one right now. Crazy comfortable. Um, I didn't think it was possible for one of these to literally disappear on your body, um, as far as not being able to tell it's there. And this one you can't. Um, currently wearing it right now. Um, I did have J clips on, so it is tuckable. Um, so as is the 1.0 there, but. J clips, even with my belt tucked in, you can't even tell it's there. Obviously, you can see it there in the small of my back. I do wear mine pretty far back. I had a question about why I carry so far back. It just makes more sense for me, the way that my body's shaped, and it, it holds it close to my body. So, that's where I feel most comfortable with it. So, as you can tell, obviously, with it, uh, my shirt down here, um, you can't tell it's there. When it's tucked in, you can't tell it's there. And like I said, when I can't tell it's there, you know it's a good holster. So. I'll do a quick spin here so you guys can see how it does fit on the body. Obviously, you can't tell anything's there. Um, it, it blends in really well. It holds really well, too, with those J-clips. Instead of just being clamped over the belt, obviously, they come under it a bunch. So um, that's another option. Um, like I said, do have the plastic ones available as well as the steel clips. And I do have a set of leather loops available as well um, for that. That's all part of the clip kit that is available from them. So 35 bucks for this thing, you can't go wrong. 35 bucks um, for a holster, you can't get a deal like that anywhere, especially one that is neoprene backed, gonna wick water away from you, keep it away from the weapon, and at the same time, you can't tell it's there. So let me bring it back to the tabletop here. We'll do a quick wrap up and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, Dave, we're gonna do a quick wrap up here on the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck. Cloak Tuck 2.0, which is the brand new one here. You're not going to go wrong with either of these. Um, as you can see, I did put the belt loops on this one just to show you the different options, as well as the plastic and the steel clips and the J clips, which are on this one. But um, 35 bucks for this one, 30 for this one. Are you kidding me? I mean, you can't find a cheaper holster of this quality out there. At the same time, it's also backed by what they call their ironclad triple guarantee which I'm, I'm reading here, it actually says 30 day money back guarantee on these. If you get it home, try it out and don't like it, send it back. They're not gonna care. So, I mean, you got nothing to lose there. Um, free forever warranty, you break anything, you break the clips, you break the shell, you break it, the screws, something like that, call them up, they'll send you new stuff. Um, at the same time, unlimited shell trade ups. If I trade this in and get a HK45 or a SIG 226 or 229 or whatever the case may be, I send this shell back to them, they send me a new one, I keep using the holster. It makes all the sense in the world. So for 30 bucks, 35 for this one, you're not going to find a better holster out there. AlienGearHolsters.com is where you can find it. I'll put the contact information, as you can see here, down below. Um, please subscribe to the videos here. Um, we got great holsters coming your way, including ones like this. Um, at the same time, different styles of holsters as well. So. Um, go pick up one, go pick up two, uh, pick up one for each gun you have, or at the same time, just go pick up uh, one of these in multiple shells. That's also another option. So, alienearholsters.com um, is where you can find these. If you have any questions, email me at holsterreviewer at gmail.com. And like I said below, uh, please subscribe and like the video. Um, you guys have an awesome day.